Hey there guys, welcome to the next time lapse here on the Duct Tape Stuff channel. I'm going to be making a Sonic the Hedgehog time lapse in this video. I'm going to be putting some uh, Mario tape down and I'm going to put a giant Sonic uh, the Hedgehog head on it. So I decided to use the uh, Mario tape as the background here. I'm not actually going to line it up because I, I figured it, it doesn't really make too much sense because I'm going to be putting that giant Sonic head on there, which you're going to see in a couple seconds. And there it is right there. And uh, I didn't really think I had probably had to line them up because you're not going to be able to see too much of it anyway. And if you look at it, when I'll show it to you again, it all looks like it pretty much lines up anyway. So use a little bit of the HD clear packaging tape to seal it down. And this is a giant black piece that I'm working on. It's a lot bigger than some of the um, backgrounds I usually work on. So I kind of have to do a really nice job of cutting it out and then very carefully applying it to the... Um, the painting and this is a giant giant sheet so there you see it right there I'm going to very carefully peel the whole thing up and arrange it right on top of the painting there this is going to be a layering decoration I'm going to be putting all of the pieces of tape on top of that giant black piece and there's a little bit of a black border so I have to fill in the entire image so that that black uh, background just becomes a border so that's what I'm going to work on this a solid blue background that I'm about to put on is actually going to be the second biggest piece of the entire Sonic head. And that's what I'm going to work on now. This is kind of a, a um, more or less like a reference to my original Sonic the Hedgehog wallet, which I made a long time ago. And I did make a painting a long time ago with Sonic the Hedgehog on it, but it was just, you know, him and his body. And uh, I didn't, obviously I didn't make it into a time lapse. So I decided to make this one for the time lapse. So now I'm going to cut out that giant piece on the inside, and this piece is going to be cut into two pieces when I apply it. First I'm going to very carefully separate some of the pieces and then just peel the whole thing up, up right here. Once again, this is a really giant piece to work with. Not as big as the black one, but still definitely really big. So i got to be really careful when I peel the whole thing up. And now in a few seconds what you're going to see me do is going to chop the whole thing in half right there. And when you're applying something this big to a painting, you don't want to apply it in one giant piece because it's going to be an absolute disaster when you try to line it up. And uh, that's why I cut into a couple different pieces, usually two or three pieces. For this one it's just two. And that way you can apply it where you, you can apply the first piece where you want it, and then you can just line it up like right there where I want the second one. And that will allow you to uh, really align it the way you want to. Because otherwise, if you do it as one big piece, it can kind of bunch up on you. It can kind of warp a little bit and just makes it that much harder to apply. So I'm going to work on a few of the things on the inside, such as his ear and part of his eyelash there. Work on that kind of like that arrow piece first. And then just very carefully going to try to stick that on. Didn't quite work out the, uh, the first two times, so I had to reapply it again and try it again until I got it right. This is sped up to about 4.6 times its normal speed, so it's a little bit faster than my traditional four times. So let me know if you guys like this speed better. Obviously, it's a little bit faster, probably a little more interesting. So if you guys like the 4.6 uh, times normal speed, let me know in the comments, and I'll try to make all my future videos in this speed as well. Traditionally, I do it to four, but this is 4.6 times faster. So now I'm going to work on the eyes, so the biggest one first. And then I'm going to work on the second one. So there's the first eye, and I cut out a few other pieces there. That's the little spot on his nose, like the gleam on his nose. I'm going to work on putting the first eye down there. That's his tiny little sliver. I kind of have to keep applying it until I get into the right spot. And now I'm going to work on the giant white piece here, which is the other eye. And this one's a little bit tricky because you have to figure out exactly where to put it. I only get a little bit of a guideline as to where to stick it down, so I have to be really careful with that. And this first original one didn't work out too well, but I left it like that for now, and then I'll just come back and fix it a little bit later. So once I get his uh, mouth down here on, it'll kind of give me a, a guideline of where to go from there. And that's really important when you're making kind of like this giant puzzle. You have to figure out exactly where all the pieces go, and then you can kind of put the pieces in between each other so that, uh, that they, uh, they all line up. So I'm going to work on that beige piece and stick that down there. And I can tell the, the eye can slide up a little bit, and that's exactly what I'm going to do eventually. I'm going to freehand the eye here. I'm not going to put that white gleam on it. It's just going to be just a simple green part here. 
I freehanded that. I'm going to stick it on and then I'm going to do any tripping if I need to from there. Alright, so now I'm going to work on his little smirk. And this was really difficult to do when I made the Sonic Wallet, but it's a lot bigger for this painting, so it's a lot easier to do. I'm going to freehand the really tiny little eye. This one's kind of small. It goes like in that tiny little piece right there. And it kind of just, you know, it's kind of just a little, gives a little contrast. Now I'm going to work on the blue parts. These are kind of like the highlights of his as his face and they're with the electric blue. I'm gonna put one there and I'm going to freehand on some of these just to get an idea of you know what, what to do. I'm gonna use some packaging tape for this one but I'm going to freehand I believe the next one so you're gonna, gonna see that. So I stick this on and this kind of just expands onto the blue part making sure I keep the uh, the accurate uh, amount of tape of black tape on the sides. I'm gonna freehand this one right here and then I can kind of just apply it to where I need to. And it's kind of just a border, so you can apply it to wherever you need it to go. And do a little trimming to make sure it works. Now I'm going to work on kind of the one above his eyelash here. There's a little bit of a highlight there. Stick that there. That looks pretty nice. Now I'm going to work on the last one. This is the biggest one. And then that will pretty much complete the time lapse. So I'm going to work on this giant piece. This is going to be probably the most important one. I'm going to stick that right on the top right there and that's gonna look really nice so there's the uh, the Sonic painting hopefully you guys liked it and I'll catch you guys next time on the channel a tutorial will be coming tomorrow so look out for that catch you next time on the channel